Okay, in this one, we're, uh, what we're going to try and do in this problem is we're going to do a little calculus. Uh, this one's a little more difficult than that first one I did, so let's give it a shot. Dog food manufacturer has to cut production costs. She wishes to use as little aluminum as possible in construction of cylindrical cans. In the following diagram, H represents the height and X is the radius. Okay, fine. The volume of the dog food cans is 600 centimeters uh, cubed. Okay, no worries. Um, let's go here. Show that H is... Um, 600 divided by pi x squared. Okay, well, volume equals pi uh, times the radius squared times the height. That's the um, formula. It's in your formula booklet. So we just sub in 600 here, and then for we have pi, and then for the radius, well, the radius is x, so we'll just make that x squared, and then we have the height. So they want us to solve for height, so we just need to divide by these two right here. Um, so, boom, pi x squared. So the a the height is going to be you know 600 over um, pi times x squared and um, that would be centimeters. Okay, um, I don't think you get a unit penalty on that one, but just in case you did, um, it's good to write it down. Okay, so let's move on to the second part. It says find an expression for the curved area of the can in terms of x. Simplify your answer. Okay, well so for part one. Again, look in your formula book, like the area equals 2 pi r um, times the height. Okay, and so we'll just sub everything in. So we just get area equals 2 pi, and then r is x, and then the height is um, 600 over pi times x squared. Okay, and now they want us to simplify our answers. Okay, so if we want to simplify our answers here, um, one thing to notice here is that you have a pi on top, you know, if we want to make this a fraction, we can just put it over 1 here, um, and, you know, we can, you know, we can cross out the pi here, you know, we can cross out this x, we can cross out that, so what are we left with? We're left with, you know, 2 times 600, which is, um, you know, 1200 on the top, and then we're left with, you know, just x on the bottom, so that that's our answer there, and um, this would be, what, centimeters squared because it's area. Again, I don't think you have to do that for this one, but uh, just to be safe. Okay, hence write down expression for um, the total surface area. Well, the total surface area um, is going to be just, you know, the top two circles, you know, right here and right here, um, plus this. So it's going to be, you know, um, it's going to be the area. It's going to be 2 because there's two circles, pi times x squared. x is the radius plus 1200 over x and we are good to go and again that would be centimeters squared um, okay so let's move it on move it on now um, what are we gonna have to do next we're gonna have to differentiate right differentiate okay so let me rewrite this hold on just a second here okay if we're going to differentiate this what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to rewrite it I want 2 pi x squared, and then I'm going to do plus 1200, but instead of having the x on the bottom, I'm going to make it up here, but, you know, this is, um, when it's on the the exponent, uh, or when a variable's on the bottom like this, you can just put, like, this is x to the first power, I want to bring it up to the top like this, it's just x to the negative one power. If this was squared, it'd be x to the negative two. It's an easy way for us to, um, you know, then we can differentiate much easier. So, all we do is four times, or two times two, which is four pi, and then it's going to be x because you subtract 1 from there. Okay, and then it's going to be negative 1 times 1200. Um, so it's going to be negative 1200. So that's a negative sign right there. And um, yeah, let me let me fix that. Okay, so negative, tw whoops, I still have the eraser. Okay, uh, so negative 1200, and it's going to be um, x, and you have to subtract 1. So negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. You know, so a way a way to write that would a, a nice way to write that would be, you know, four pi x minus twelve hundred over x squared. Okay, now uh, for part D, it says um, find the value of x that makes uh, a a minimum. Okay, well then all you have to do is take this derivative here, is four pi x minus you know twelve hundred over x squared and make that equal to zero. Now, the best way to solve this is just to use a calculator um, and, you know, go straight on your calculator. Go to math, um, arrow up to solver, 
and you can enter in the equation. So we'd go 4 second pi um, x minus 1200 divided by uh, x squared. Press enter. And then when you get to the x equals here, you have to solve it. So you do alpha green button solve, and you're going to get 4.57. So x is going to be equal to 4.57. Okay. And so finally, the final problem is just a second here. Okay, so for the last part here, you just do, you know, 2 pi. We'll sub it into the original equation to get the area. And we'll do 4.57 squared plus 1,200 over 4.57. And again, you just enter that into your calculator. And you do all that, and you get 394. And it would be, what, total minimum surface area, so it would be centimeters squared. Okay, so there you go. There's another calculus problem for you. Again, you just have to differentiate for it, uh, and you should be good to go. All right, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Take it easy.